All right, I just walked that corner, that corner, that corner. Now I'm gonna walk down this way, pick up the whatever's on the ground. Got my bucket, got my cheap grabbers for cans, and I got my magnet to help, you know, pick whatever's up. <laughs> It's called the Four Corners. And I do it about once every month or two and pick up some pretty good stuff. Man, make some heavy buckets there. You know, I'm, I'm usually not really exercising, so this will get me some walking in, a little good exercise, and a little little more metal to the pile. That make, make it heavy, man, heavy up the pile a little bit. So, I gotta walk this fourth corner here. Uh, I was helping Sammy out there cut some grass. We gotta do it in sections. It takes us days because we got the push mower you know what I'm saying here we go here's a good prime example right here this is how we do it easy cheesy babies Vaporizer things. I do believe that's aluminum. One of those vaporizers. I think that's aluminum. Move on. Wait till we get to the bridge. Oh, we got there. Some stainless steels. Good old stainy. Yup, stainy steels. Little stainless steel, sons. Oh, yeah. This big fucker.
Park Resurrection CD. Free. 99 out of the trash can. Yeah, man, we got it loaded down. I don't know if I got video of the first uh, load I had. I don't think so. I had like five pallets and uh, stainless steel dishwasher. All right. Uh, just some other odds and ends and shits. And now I got some more shits. Just a lot of shred, but you know, I do have a, I think it's a washing machine. You know, some guy waved me down, he saw me, you know, and I didn't even have really hardly any scrap in my truck at all, like, where he could see, you know, like, most people that wave me down, you know, I usually got it, you know, pretty, pretty loaded down, and they could see the scrap, totally. This guy didn't. He must have saw the little scrap-only uh, magnet I got on the back of the truck, you know, because I was on the court, whipping it around, you know, doing a, doing a 360, busting threes out there on the court, and he, he must have saw the scrap-only asked if I wanted a washer I was like yeah I was like and he's like what else you take I was like anything that's metal or a good amount of metal or has a plug to it I take it it's like as a matter of fact I saw some plug hanging out of your trash can man can I cut it and he's like yeah go ahead take it it's like word <laughs> it went to like a double little window fan thing but yeah I know there's motors in there but they're not very big it was all plastic kind of window double fan like a eight inch or ten inch fan blade so yeah i just cut the cord man right heading back to the compound and then i'm gonna head back out to greenfield this is like the third truck load fully load see if i can get a fourth one and uh the phone's charging right now so i'll see if i can uh get cop some video of it you know what i'm saying i know uh i know i say i want to catch more video of me doing this stuff you know it's kind of boring when you just see my truck full of stuff man they want to see the I know you want to see the live, the live jumps, right? You want to see the live jumps. Now, this is as live as it gets for me, man, because I'm in a hurry. And I'm sometimes running across the street. Like, I'll stop, you know, and I'll run across the street and grab whatever and run back to the truck because that's how much of a hurry I am. I don't have a whole lot of time, and I'm tired. Been up all night, third shift. Uh, didn't sleep but four hours in the last two days and then uh, uh sunday through you know what this is friday so yeah sunday i was up for like 45 hours straight and i got some sleep and then the next two days i just got you know two hours sleep two and a half hours sleep each night so yeah whoa you know what i'm saying but when scrap life never ends and you got to get that money you can sleep when you die, you know what I'm saying? Sleep when you die. Make that money. Get that grip. A small grip, but you know. Anyways, signing off. Well, <coughs> sorry, my questions were answered last night about is it legal to dumpster dive or illegal here in Hancock. In Hancock, it's illegal. Uh, cops rolled up on me when my head was in the dumpster out in New Palestine. So, everything was cool. I'm just asking a lot of questions and stuff. Uh, apparently, Dumpsters and trash cans, even on curbside, even if there's a vacuum uh, sitting next to the trash can, it's illegal to take in Hancock County because it's still it's still uh, property of the owner, and uh, of course you have to have permission or have to have a free sign on it, and uh, that's trespassing. Or in a dumpster behind a store, it's trespassing because it's still there property until the trash service comes and picks it up and then that's their property <coughs> a lot of people turn away but somebody saw me back behind this place I guess and called the cops and they come rolling up on me and 
course, like I said, I had my head in the dumpster, feet in the air, you know, grabbing some cans. I come out with like two aluminum cans because there was nothing in there except those cans. I was like, well, I'm going to take them since, you know, since I stopped and looked, I'm grabbing those two cans, whatever. That's the story. And it's, uh, it sucks because that trash picking and gar uh, dumpster diving, that's my bread and butter, you know. I mean, I last year I did a lot of pickups. And then it was just easier for me to go dumpster dive to get the metal because I was just pulling just almost as much metal. And I wasn't away from the house as much. But it looks like now I'm just going to have to get back to the pickups. And also with the pickups, too, uh, they don't give you everything because a lot of it's still in the trash. They throw away. Anyways, about to go get some flyers made. About about 500 flyers. About to go get about 500 flyers made and uh, just start handing them jokers out, you know. It is what it is. That's what we got to do to get it rolling. I got to get home because uh, the wife just texted me a bunch of question marks and, uh, you know, because I rolled out. But she should know what I do on Saturdays because I've been doing it every Saturday for ever since we've been together <laughs> for like four years, five years now. Anyways, I got us some water so we can make a little coffee. We're going to rock that. It's going to be good. <laughs> Feel that bitch. It's pretty nice, man. I mean, it leaves a makes a nice little thud. <laughs> yeah. Damn, son. They come off one of those rotisserie things. Pizza oven. Oh, okay. So yeah, same concept. And I got three or four motors. Maddie scraps. What's he doing, man? Cutting some money up. Separating the brass from the copper. I need to find my file. Just day to day shit. You made a scrap about them some good stuff. Oh, dude, I didn't show you. These two buckets? Uh huh. I walked the four corners and picked all this shit up off the road. Damn. Yeah, these two buckets here. That's crazy. I know. That's fucking crazy. Look at this. There was a yoke in there. TV yoke. Somebody busted their TV out. <laughs> just fucking just this shit home here and strip it. And uh, then I got that there. And I gotta run the uh, I gotta run the saws all down the edge of that because it's got them copper tubes and it's got the steel on the sides. Right. So I'll get that. This all uh, a lot of it's cast aluminum. But then there's clean aluminum in there and uh, some dirty aluminum. Got my sealed unit boy. Two of them. And then that's shred shreddy. Got that little bit off there. Sometimes this thing's uh it is all copper. I don't know why I didn't just take it off. Sometimes. You got a good unit if, if, if it's copper. Or if it's copper, you got a good unit. They make out of steel shit. They make them out of steel, too. Look at this big old staining. Staining steel dishwasher. That's the first time I've ever seen one of them fuckers. I knew they were around, though. Fire. Motors. Miscellaneous. Aluminium. He's scrappy. Hanging out by Roby the Robot. Hmm? Uh, yeah.